guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you, so flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. Alright, if it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. So it does look like somebody's trying to fight for like a chance, an opportunity, something like that. But it's like literally, I don't like it. When I say fight, I don't mean like um, physically. But I mean there's like something to get through to get to that. Whatever that means in your situation. Like, it's not just, um, it doesn't seem like it's just easy. Alright, immediate future for Taurus. What's coming up? Thank you. See, there's that five of wands. It's exactly, oh, and the six of wands. So that makes sense, right? The six of wands, think of it as, like, what you want. That's, like, the goal. That's, like, the finish line. What you're trying to get. And it does that. It can be within anything. So, like, if it's love, the person that you want. That's this. The six of wands. But then you have the five of wands right before that. So, it's literally, like, um, not physically, but having to fight for that. So, whatever that is. But it's a way of, because someone is trying to move forward with the situation. But this in talk things like that but i don't think it's going as you know like there's a need to you're gonna have to work for it show me this um thank you all right the same cards i was just showing you at the bottom all right so um <clears throat> you have the eight of swords and the eight of wands eights are about change right but there is some type of communication some type of forward movement it could be travel that's coming in it does make you nervous for some you could be dealing with an aquarius Libra, gemini or this could kind of just be like your energy towards the situation or the person because it does um make you it puts you in your head a little bit but don't get wrapped in your head okay because that's just um, it's, it's almost like with that Queen of Swords, like it, it has something here has to make sense. Like maybe in the past with this person, the situation, something happens and now, you know, it makes you nervous, but you're kind of like figuring out how to move forward. You could be choosing between two things, but it's not even really about that. But hell, it could be because you got the five of wands. So you may have a couple of people competing here, but there's definitely some type of communication and with the six of wands. You could be seen in the public eye, but it really more so feels like this is what you wanted. But, I mean, it does put you in your head. So, King of Swords is at the bottom. You could be dealing with an air sign. Um, but I think also at the same time, it's like even if you're not, this person has probably been mirroring um, your energies. I do feel like there's like a lot of confusion on their side too. Like they're probably trying to like... Uh, I don't know. Match your energy is what it's feeling like. Show me this five of wands for Taurus. And not on purpose. That's probably because the, um, the energy is here. Yeah, the lovers, the seven of cups, the eight of pentacles. So, definitely, um, okay, a couple of ways this could be going. It looks like you may be more focused on, like, career, on making your money right now, that type of thing, on working. So, for some, this could be, you know, like a work situation and there's just, some competition around it um but for others as far as love because you have the lovers here gemini energy so whatever this is that this communication comes in about it does bring some confusion i don't know if there's like obstacles i mean not obstacles shit um choices and that's very possible because we have a couple of choices cards and the lovers can be a choice card but it's like more so like someone is is wanting to recapture this like they want to work on it but with the seven of cups there there's still some conf like that's still uh you know trying to figure it out so you could just be working on a lot of projects and um things like that but it also feels like for some there's this one particular situation that you know just has some confusion around it for some this may be around a work situation 
um, it doesn't have to be involving because we have the eight of pentacles. So it doesn't have to be involving like uh, even a love situation. You have the nine of pentacles. So it feels like you're working on yourself. Like you're extremely independent. Um, there could be, you could be like um, kind of top dog boss lady with this um, nine of swords and nine of pentacles. But it's like you're, you're growing yourself, your money. Um, so actually somebody here may actually find you intimidating as well because it looks like there's someone, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be though. Um, it could even be like a best friend or something like that, or just somebody who has emotions for you because they're trying to come towards you. Um, but I think you're kind of more focused on your career and looking out for yourself. Show, oh shit. Show me this hermit please for the outcome for Taurus. So this is Virgo energy, but the Ace, wow. All right, the Ace of Cups is new love. So it's looking like that's what someone wants to focus on. But I think at the same time, you're focused on self-love as well. Wow, the wheel. It looks like you're taking, you're, you know, you're putting yourself first here. All right, show me the wheel because that's about divine timing. So with the Ace of Cups, like I said, that is love and overpouring of love. It can be something brand new, but it also represents self-love. And I think that's what like your focus is on. Because the hermit is like kind of just wanting to be alone. Um, and it kind of almost looks like that's where you're at. Just look like we're more so focused on work and things like that. And not because this up here is still kind of like a confused energy. Tell me about the Ace of Cups for Taurus. Let's see which way it's going. So for some, it's like you just want to be alone and you're focusing on yourself, your money, your career. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So that's your energy. You're just taking it day by day. You may have some guards up, some defensiveness, um, things like that. But I also feel like there's like a person or something here for some. You're just, it's, it doesn't really look like you're entertaining it at the moment. I mean, love is on the way, like, especially because with, with this Nine of Pentacles, you could be single. That is a card of being single. But it looks like right now you're more focused on career, money, self, and um, self-love. So you're kind of just taking it day by day. Love will be here when it's supposed to be here with that Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Hangman Pisces energy. Not a whole lot of movement. I think you're still kind of got some guards up here. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. I think, you know, you may still be hanging on to a particular situation or it may be hanging on to you. The Hangman does tell you, tell us to um, look at things from all angles, all perspectives. But I think right now with the Eight of Cups and the Hermit, you're really just focused on yourself and probably just want to be alone. Work, that type of thing. Alright, Taurus, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.